should you search out a surgeon that is an expert in this area? And my answer is yes, yes, and yes, girl. Doctors are skilled and they're smart and they are capable of so much, but but they all study to be like, you know, they study the general aspect of being a doctor. And then towards the end, that's when they go more into their specific fields. If they're studying in a specific area, obviously they're gonna become more of an expert in that area, which would make sense. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I just wanted to put a quick disclaimer out there because I've had a few tubal reversal videos on here, I figured I might as well kind of continue with a couple of them. So I know over the past few months, a lot of you guys who are watching my tubal reversal videos have come onto this channel and you are asking a ton of questions. And then there are a lot of you guys who are also sharing your journey that, or sharing that you're going to have your surgery, your tubal reversal surgery. And some of you are, um, just asking about mine and I welcome to all of you guys. I decided to make a little mini video and I think I might make it into a bunch of series and this is just gonna income, it's gonna um, incorporate a few questions. I'm just gonna take care of some frequently asked tubal reversal questions. One of the main questions that I've also gotten is, um, so, it's, and I'm, like I said, I make videos on these because some of the questions that you, you might see it under the actual video itself, some of the questions are from my other personal channel where I have a ton of tubal reversal videos. Also, um, some are emailed to me. And so that's why I choose to make some videos on them because I realize that not all of you guys actually can see these questions or I don't always have the time to be able to answer like in depth. I'm a talker so I can talk easily and get that information out to you. One of the question was, um, yeah, I've had my tubes tied for a very long time. Is it too late for me? And I'm just gonna answer for you, for my personal self, because I feel like I am like this person right here. Be only in the fact that my tubes were tied for nine, almost 10 years, because I had my tubes tied after my last child. And she was approaching nine when I went to go have the surgery. It wasn't too late for me. So I'm not sure how long is too long, but from what I've heard, it doesn't really matter. My research, from what I've seen, the women have had their two, have been having tubal reversal even 10 years and even more, they've had their tubes tied for a long time and have had it reversed successfully. And like for myself, I was pretty close to that 10 year mark, but you know, it was give or take an extra year or so. If you've had your tubes tied for a long time, I would, like I said, first go see the doctor and um, go from there. But I feel like if you're still within that age, that childbearing age, like it shouldn't be a factor. It shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, but I'm not the doctor. I'm just explaining what I've read and also from my own experience. So I would assume like if you tied your tubes that and you're asking this question that you're still within like the childbearing years and that's a different question all on its own but I've also answered where I thought the cutoff mark was for that but I like I said I'm not the expert the doctor is. The typical questions are like what are the typical length of a tubes or of your tubes before tubal ligation and from what I've read the typical length of the tubes are usually 12 centimeters long which is like four and a half inches and from what I've also heard because I was concerned about this given that my tubes were cut and then clamped and I knew they would have to cut off the chunk from where it got clamped and I was a little nervous but from what my doctor said that because I was pregnant also when I did it my tubes are are usually stretched because I'm pregnant and so that also played a role I think in my, the length of my tube I may be wrong on that but I'm pretty certain that's what my doctor said is you have to go to the tubal to a hospital to get your tubal reversal to have your tubal reversal done and the answer for me is a no because I didn't have mine there um, be, you know you are able to have it at a hospital but it all depends on the doctor some doctors work with like actual surgical centers where, you know they probably want to have your surgery done there if that's where they work or they can do it out of the hospital so i don't think it really matters so long as the doctor is reputable the clinic itself that they're going to perform the surgery is very is reputable i'm not going to lie when i went for mine i was a bit nervous because i'm like oh my gosh it's one of those private centers you just never know you've heard things and you just it's just kind of nerve rack racking but you know I went and my surgery was great and it was successful successful <laughs> oh yeah it was successful and it went really well but I was ner I'm not gonna lie I was nervous just because it wasn't at the hospital I 
I am one of those people that feel some kind of security going to a hospital only because like, you know, that emergencies occur here all the time and they, they can save you if something happened, at least try. But, um, yeah, like facility, I'm learning that, you know, just what I think is not often all that there is clearly, uh, the facilities themselves, so long as they're reputable and they are, are equipped with, um, prestigious, you know, doctors are, that are, you know, up there and they are very much aware of what they're doing and they're, and are certified. Let me put that out there. Certified. They have to be certified y'all. If they are not, that would be wrong. So no to the hospital thing. It doesn't have to be there. So if you see me looking over here, I'm just going to keep it in there because I am reading some questions. What are the costs of tubal reversal surgery? What are the costs? <laughs> Baby's behind me. What are the costs of tubal re reversal surgery? So like I, I'm just going to put it out there. For my tubal reversal surgery, it was $6,000. It basically incorporated the fees that you have to go, which, um, you know, for your, you have to get your partner's uh, specimen. You have to as the woman, you have to have your eggs watched or, or monitored for over a whole month, like an entire cycle to see what happens from, you know, the birth of new follicles to you know, watch the growth and how it progresses. And then what happens here to really see if you are a proper candidate for the surgery. If you were, your follicles weren't growing and there are thing, issues around that line, they wouldn't want to do perform the procedure because then that would be a waste. Like you would be just going through a surgery for nothing. So I can appreciate that they actually monitor you to ensure that everything is okay. So all those things do require some kind of a fee because it is a procedure that is obviously utilizing the time of nurses and the doctor and whatnot, and they have to get paid somehow. So those fees are a part of it and they do get incorporated it into the total fee which was a roughly around six thousand maybe a little bit over but it's just the right same ballpark different doctors obviously charge different amounts and i live in canada so that amount is different here i don't know what the amounts are in the states but i'm sure if you were to google it or look it up or research it you would be able to find some information so being that this video is already approaching 12 minutes i may just answer another two questions but the next one i wanted to answer was um, the one pertaining to a surgeon. One person asked if should you seek out a surgeon who is like an expert in this area and I would say uh, yeah <laughs> I wouldn't and that's not trying to be rude I'm just you know you know my personality. Should you search out a surgeon that is an expert in this area and my answer is yes yes and yes girl don't be going to a doctor Doctors are skilled and they're smart and they are capable of so much, but you know, we all know that they all study like the general math, general math. Oh gosh. They study the general aspect of being a doctor. And then towards the end, that's when they go more into their specific field. If they're studying in a specific area, obviously they're going to become more of an expert in that area, which would make sense. So when it came to tubal reversal, my doctor, he's, he is, what are you doing? He is very much an expert in this area and he felt confident with going to him. I did research honestly and some of the women were saying, oh, they talked about his bedside manners and whatnot. And I don't know what's, I'm not going to disagree and say that they don't have their opinion because they do. But overall, I found him to be great. Maybe I felt more confident because my husband was there with me as well. But he is very frank. He is a smart doctor. You can tell he knows his stuff. So he's not really in there to kind of beat around the bush. And sometimes some of the women may want to hear what they want to hear, but they're not here to hear what the doctor has to say. And if his answer is like, no, you can't, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. They get upset. And, um, that's what, you know, that's, I know that's some of the cases that are out there where, People get upset because they don't want to hear what the doctor has to say. And I know it's not easy to always take either. Sorry, the, the sun is um, changing direction. I'd recommend you going with a doctor that is an expert in the area because they'll know their stuff. They'll know what they're doing versus going to like a podiatrist who does perform the surgery here and there. Or maybe want to have you just be a number in terms of um, them, what do you call it? 
practicing. So yeah, and I'm not talking practicing isn't practicing because we know doctors have their practice and whatnot. But I'm talking about you don't want some you don't want to be someone's little dummy. So it's better to obviously go with a doctor who does this night and day. They can do this in their sleep, and you know that they're gonna do a good job. So that is enough that, that's it for today i will be doing here and there i'm going to be doing some tubal reversal um what do you call it just little snippets of videos here and there because i realize that there are a ton of you here on this channel as well and you guys want me to answer questions and share my info and i definitely want to do that because that's the purpose we're here to help each other i have a tubal reversal success story and um I definitely want to utilize my platform to share with you guys my journey of, you know, from from beginning, from the beginning to where I am now and in hopes to just inspire and gain and um yeah, instill hope and like I said with all that we do, pray, pray, pray and yeah, keep God in the center of all that you do. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and to share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Much love.